Good morning, traders. This is Bruce at VeloxPro. If you can hear me and see my screen, just type yes. All right. Thank you. I think we're good to go. Okay. Um, well, we'll just give a, another minute here as uh, people start to uh, pile into the room. And uh, get your questions. Uh, Niels is um, uh, up for um, uh, just uh, an answering questions uh, on the on the fly here. So uh, we will, uh, uh, you know, ask them as they as they come in. So um, get ready for uh, for that. Oh, good morning, Judy. Yep, got your message. Okay, so all week uh, we're going to be doing the professional uh, trader webinar series, and uh, today we have uh, Niels uh, Koops. Uh, Niels is a pretty pretty interesting uh, character here because he develops and trades his own algos, uh, and uh, and then he he's been looking at order flow and bookmap for uh, for quite a while, uh, and. Um, uh, he uh, uh, knows exactly what he's looking for. Uh, the the um, the software very nicely uh, visualizes uh, and complements uh, his uh, his his strategies and uh, his uh, execution. Uh, so um, uh, I have uh, uh, his website. Uh, if you want to take a look here, uh, just a minute, uh, and I'll put this into the chat so you guys can take a look. Uh, it's um, uh, amstradinggroup.com uh, and then you can also follow him at uh, uh, at ams underscore tg uh, and Neil's at ams right here all right okay and uh, all right so let me read the disclaimer first and then we'll get going here uh, trading futures and options on futures involves substantial risk of loss is not suitable for all investors past performance is not indicative of future results all right so with uh, no further ado I'll just uh, kick it off with uh, Neil here and pass it over all right there you go Niels yeah, thanks, Bruce. <clears throat> okay. Can everyone see my screen? I guess so. Yeah, looks good. Sounds good. All right. Yep. All right. Um, yeah, so I think I was at Bookmap from pretty early start. I'm not sure actually, but I think so. Um, hold on. And, um, well, I liked it from the start because, um, like, uh, how I traded before, I looked at, um, like, traded volume, uh, which you can see here at the left left chart. That's, that's traded volume. Um, so, bookmap shows the intended, <coughs> intended order flow, right? Um, the bits and offers that are in the book and not have traded yet. So when you combine those two, you get a really nice combination, and it gives you a better edge in the market. Um, yeah, so I want to go over. Well, actually, I want to go over uh, something right now. In the boont, I want to go over the boont because I think most traders are going over the ES, um, which is the product that I trade the most. But we can go over that later. Um, let's go. And something that recently happened um, right here. Let me scroll back a bit. So before, here. Yeah, right here. Okay, let me turn on the Okay, so uh, price went down. Well, let me choose another color. Yellow. 
So price went down. Um, consolidated, then went back up to um, 0.54. There were like a lot of, I can draw. Well, I think it works. Can you see the drawing, by the way? Bruce, can I see it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, so there were heavy offers at, at 55, and there was an LVN area in that area as well. Um, so 55 really holds the price down here. So it was a, a really good entry to just hang on, like lean on, lean on the offers here. So if you want to short it, um, yeah, it doesn't really matter where. So your risk is pretty small because you can put your stop right one tick above that offer, above, you know, like 56, 57. So your risk is only like like four or five ticks, which is like, for me, is really good. Um, but it's also interesting what happened later. Uh, let me scroll. So, well, the trade worked, went down to the low, tested the low. It doesn't really matter. So, when it went back up, it traded through it, so it tested the third time, and that's usually when it breaks um, right here. No, it doesn't care. Hold on. Uh, are those drawings? Yeah, so right here. Um, so what happens later, right? So people who are, who are sold here, they thought it would hold again, So, but it didn't. It went higher. So what happens when you, like, when you're offside, you kind of want to get out of the trade, right? So you probably put in a bid here to just the outbreak even, and that's what holds the market right here. You also could see the bids come in really nicely, like here, here, and here, and that's what pushed the market even higher later. So that's a really interesting trade that just happened like an hour ago or something. Yeah. So I just wanted to show you before I went on the replay. Um, so, okay. Um, yeah, so now I'm going to, yeah? Uh, that, that's, uh, no, really, really nice examples there of um, uh, the flip of the book. Yeah, totally, yeah. I mean, uh, especially that you, you're looking at your, your higher time frame there, uh, and you, you see your, uh, your low volume node, uh, and uh -huh. uh, you're, you're matching that up. You know, you're, you're expecting a bounce the first time, uh, and then you yeah. get the breakthrough, and then you see the flip. Yeah. No, it's it's really important, and it happens a lot. So I, I really pay uh, pay close attention to it. But also, like this is my own my own uh, delta print. So like you can see the volume over here, and that's exactly where it tested back. So that's also what I watch. So yeah, that's this. Yeah, it happens a lot. It's not a coincidence. So it makes sense, right? Because people were sold with soul here, they see it going up, so they just want to get out, so they put in a bit here or here, whatever, they just want to get out, and that makes the market go up again, so they, they become buyers, so, okay, anyway, so let me uh, put on the recording, hold on. Okay, so I had to record this because I'm running Linsoft. This 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 screen's on the on the on the left um, because I also want, wanted to uh, run the uh, replay mode on uh, Bookmap. So I had to kind of sync them. It wasn't easy, but <laughs> I tried. But I think you get the point. Um, so first of all. 
this, this the zone here is also something that I programmed this uh, support zone for me. So when I see those those bits here, then I'm kind of already interested in in buying kind of. Um, but I want to see how it reacts later. So you want to see it bounce, and then and then you prefer to retest. I usually trade the pullbacks um, because you have a little bit more information of what happened like recently. So I can probably forward a bit. <clears throat> Okay, so so right here you see some some offers coming in, um, but they're not that strong. So they just go through it. Um, they just don't. I don't know. Not holding mark down. <clears throat> so. Because I wanted to buy already, this is not gonna like take me out of the trade. It might take a while. True, sure. took like I don't know. For me, it's long. It's like I don't know, like three minutes. Doesn't seem long, but if you have to wait, it's long. So my exit, or at least I would be interested in exiting like around here, where like when the pre the previous volume is traded. Does that make sense? Do I, do I need to explain something more or something? Or? Yeah, yeah. Go through it a little bit. Just a, a little bit of background, I think, would would uh, would be good. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> so, for people who are not like familiar with this, <clears throat> um, the numbers are over here, well, on every bar. So the numbers on the left, those are like is like trader volume on on the bid side. Um, and the numbers on the right, those are um, its volume traded on the offers. Um, so it kind of shows aggression, not per se who's winning, but it shows aggression. So um, right here, you see almost 2K, 2K sellers, but they're kind of not, not, not winning because it doesn't go down a lot. It, it just keeps holding. So all those sellers, they get stuck later, right? And so they want to they want to get out. And that's kind of what you're seeing now because it's moving up like with kind of low volume, and it's probably like stops. They're stopping out. And if you want to look at possible exit. You look where the, the highest volume is traded and that's likely where a lot of people want to do business because they previously also did. So it's likely to stop somewhere around here. So an exit on, on any long here would be around here for me at least. So and I'm kind of a short-term trader, that, that's true, but it's not for everyone. But that's how I do it. Um, yeah, so this, this makes a lot of sense. Yeah, no, the, the, these these are um, pretty, you know, pretty in-depth concepts. Um, I mean, uh, Niels, what what you're you know looking at here, uh, and there's questions coming in, so I'll I'll get to them. Uh, in, in yeah, yeah, sure, just, go ahead. Yeah. Just a second here, uh, but yeah. um, uh, you know you're you know you are looking for the. Um, natural buyers and sellers, like once they've committed, uh, now now let's say they've committed to the short side. Well, now they're buyers. That's that's yeah, what exactly. they're you know, and and you're looking for that and where they're going to get stuck and where where will will they buy and they will they will mm -hmm. have to buy back and you you know that uh, and that's uh, that's pretty pretty advanced um, uh, uh, you know con concepts here. Uh, 
uh, understanding the uh, the trap volume and, and where they're going to cover and where you're looking to uh, enter and uh, and take your mm -hmm. profit. Uh, real, real real nice stuff here. Yeah. Um, well, it's it's what I've been looking at like for years and years already. So um, it's, it just it just makes a lot of sense. I mean, as, as soon as you sell, you you become a buyer, and as soon as you buy. You become a seller, so you always want to look for points where people are stuck or like panicking or, or kind of like, oh, never mind, I'll get out, and and that's that's kind of turning points. Like usually, the, those are turning points. So, yeah, it's really important. And so especially when when you see like, in the profile of the day, you can see just see really clear where where like a lot of people have traded. So, yeah, and those are always important points. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's what Elaine is asking right now. Um, I don't see where there's lots of volume um, for you to exit, uh, but you're just uh, putting a rectangle around it right now. Elaine, does that yeah. make sense for you? Yeah, and on, on Bookmap, you can see like a lot of offers coming in as well, so you kind of want to change your mind anyway about holding. So, yeah. Does it make sense? Or I mean, it doesn't make sense for me because I look at it every day, but <laughs> I'd be happy to explain. Well, well maybe um, uh, show show a little bit more, like in, in book map, like how, how that um, uh, how you visualize and how so you look for this on your higher time frames in your footprint charts there. Yeah. And then uh, well, when, you, when you turn to to the order flow uh, in book map. Mm -hmm. um, well, first of all, my 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 uh, my charts are not. Uh, they are not time based, but um, they're based on on reversals. Um, so so they don't uh, change unless there is a movement in the market. Um, but let me go to the to the next uh, to the next video. I think that's more clear. Um, hold on. So this is also on the boon and it's really early and here you can see it's 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 like pre-market so it's 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 lower volume but you can see really really clear that that's that they're bidding uh that they're bidding hold on I can't draw they're bidding this level here and they they adding to it here as well so that there's, there's a buyer active like really clear <clears throat> And when it just just stalls here, it moves up, and you you get either a big buyer. Yeah, let me turn on, turn it on. I'll fast forward a bit. It just keeps moving up. So here, here it gets kind of interesting because you can see the, the uh, you can see uh, the drawing is yeah right here and here they're like big offers in the market and and that's important because it usually blocks the market so you want to pay attention to it so if you went long somewhere around here when you saw the buyers coming in or or here or wherever or here. You really want to pay attention if they're going to buy this or, or block it here. Um, Niels, if you if you could um, maybe uh, use the pen. Okay, you are. I, I see. Uh, it's a little hard to, to see uh, your your cursor. Oh. Uh, that's the only thing. Okay. So may, may, I don't yeah, know. Maybe, maybe a bit more drawing, or if you can get bit, bit back to the mouse uh, arrow cursor. Uh. I think that, that I can use that the I can use the highlighter maybe. Yeah, may, may, maybe. Yeah, that might be better. <laughs> All right, I can do that. Better? Try again? Uh, I think it's I think it's better. Yeah. 
You can see it now, I guess. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's much better. Yep, All thanks. Right. Yeah, I, I, sorry, I, I usually like use a really high resolution. <laughs> it just fits more on my screen, but I, I guess for you at home it's not a, not as comfy to look at. But um, anyway, also my algo also had a buy signal at the low. So it all came nicely together. And then you really want to watch for like what's happening like on, on the big offers here, right here. So they traded through it, um, so kind of likely to like not be done because it it doesn't reject. No. It doesn't reject. So if you if you see the big offers, you kind of want to want to see it to reject right away and not like trickle higher and higher. It's likely to like eat the rest up as well. Like this is also going to trade. <clears throat> so the big offers over here are like kind of like a go or no go, if that makes sense. So they need to like they can stall a little bit, but not really. So they they need to reject. What what is the uh, the candlestick chart you have down there? Is that um, what time frame is that? Oh, is it thirty second? Thirty second. Okay. Yeah. But I, I just use a 30 seconds because my algo is, is like creating signals like on a non-time-based non uh, matter. Um, I can also use a one minute, but yeah, I don't know. Just, uh. All right, so now you can see here it's just moving up and up and up. And so that's where people get stuck a lot. So right now, this is where bookmap is really, really good. I'm gonna pause it down. <clears throat> okay, so can you see the drawings now? Uh, which one? On, on, on the right uh, at one fifty nine point forty six. Uh, In the, in the book map? Uh, well, oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah. Okay, cool. <clears throat> so, it's got like 1.4K offers, and that's like looking at the rest, it's, it's really high. And we're already like in a directional move. So, you want, it's going to stop at some point because, because nothing is going up forever. Uh, plus, you have, you have the volume from the previous day here. So, you kind of want to pay attention to it. So, all right. Okay. Let me fast forward. It's easier. Okay. okay. So um, you let's see. Sorry, I'm trying to. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, question coming in for you. Um, so Doug is asking uh, about. Um, you know, you're looking at the um, uh, up at um, uh, one fifty nine forty six, and you see those mm -hmm. four t over fourteen hundred contracts. I mean, just huge, yeah. huge amount of liquidity on the offer. Uh, yeah. But there's still some pretty high liquidity before you get there. Mm -hmm. So how how are you gauging that the chart? Um, you know, uh, you know, before before it reaches that area, and, and what what are you looking for? Are you holding on, or are you um, uh, looking for potential reversals in some of those areas before that liquidity, or are you thinking that liquidity is going to get tested? Um, if I want to trade before it, for before that it reaches that level, I um, I, wa I want to see it move like below another re reference point, like here. If it, if it goes below that level. Um, which has some volume, or this one, it, it then kind of has to reject the previous level, and, and I'm not going to get in right away, um, but I want to see if it holds below some other level, other re reference level, and, and not just because it has like big offers or something. Um, 
if that uh, makes sense. Yeah, so so basically you're looking like you're uh, looking for another kind of flip of the book at at some of that yeah. some of those areas. Yeah, yeah, kind of, yeah. Hmm. Exactly. Hmm. Okay. But I what I really wanted to point out is like like here that they're really spoofing the book <laughs> because they they're bidding what like 1.8k and if I can turn it on a bit but it, it disappears like right away. Let me. And it's gone, and it didn't trade. I can see it didn't trade because they didn't trade 18, uh, 1800 here. So, and that book, book map shows it really well. You have to look really carefully, but um, they're just spoofing here. <clears throat> that's interesting, but that's still, they're still bidding it, so <clears throat> there's no reason to, to sell it yet. Um, if you want to sell it, it kind of has to, like, uh, move below um, move below this area here or even here for it to have like have like any meaning of a pullback so right now it's just doing nothing <clears throat> just just a normal pullback so and there it goes Now you can also see it, it, it is blew through all the offers, so it was just kind of they're just like faking it down. <coughs> uh, drawing. <coughs> so if you see it here, they're just bending it back right away. So <coughs> that means they just want to push it up, get some stops, and you can see the stops going off. Um, because the numbers here on, on the left chart, they're really, really low. They're just getting some volume over here, at this level. But the numbers below are just so small on, on the sell side that you can assume they're all stops. So now they're running stops. And if they run stops, that usually means they're at some kind of high or forming a high. Um, OK. so. Yeah, that's a, a real nice example of, of spoofing around your, your 44, yeah. 46 yeah. area there. Yeah. Oh. Right right where those orders were before. Yep. So now you can see like they're kind of, they're, they're selling it, they're selling it. And you can see that because they, let me try the drawing again. Oh, oh I already drew, drew it. Um, this level is really being sold hard. They sold like 4.3k, and um, well, they haven't done it anywhere. <laughs> so it's just a really high number. So really a lot of sales. So this, this, this. If you see this kind of volume here in the Bundel list, yeah, then then you can uh, at least sell it for a nice pullback. Uh, So where where are you um, looking to to enter to to on the sell side? Yeah, right at that level at where they're selling. So you're not you're not looking for a pullback or anything. You you just want to get in. No, no, no. If 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 there's like uh, such a big directional move, then I'm just gonna sell. Yeah. Because you you saw them hitting stops, right? Right. Do the, you the, need to explain that the stops hitting or? Um, uh, I think you 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 described that uh, earlier. Uh, yeah, if uh, so. yeah. anyone doesn't understand, uh, uh, please please uh, uh, write it in the questions there. We can go over it again. But uh, I mean, there's some really nice stuff going on here. Uh, some really yeah. great examples. Uh, fantastic examples. Very very clear. Uh, I I really like the way you're using your higher time frame there. Uh, and then looking at at the book, and I mean, <laughs> look at that that yeah. down there. At, yeah, at, so it's uh, it's amazing. Yeah. 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 They're really working it. Yeah. So on the book map here, you see the bits coming in at um, at forty forty seven. So that will be like a nice pullback for the, for the short. 
So let me put on the playback if that actually happens. I think so. Um, There it goes. Yeah, so there it goes. Right, right to the forty-seven. The bit that came in like here already, right? So they put in the bit already when they when they hit the, the cell at the. What was it? Fifty-seven. Yeah. So it's a nice ten. Uh, 10 tick uh, trade. I mean, I always exit one tick up in front of it, so 48. But um, yeah, it's it's really like a really clear setup. Yeah. And any questions about that? Well, I mean, that's just just beautiful stuff. Um, I mean, at, at this yeah. point, I mean, it's really really clear. Uh, it, it, and. I mean, I didn't know the boons were were <laughs> behaved this nicely. Um, but, yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> um, oh. But uh, the um, what about at this point here? After uh, you know, you get that pullback into the forty-seven area. Um, what are you What are you looking yeah. for at this point? Uh, well, I don't really look for buys anymore because I know they hit stops, and if they, if yeah, usually when they hit stops, they're kind of done with buying. Um, so I just sit it out, uh, just sit, sit it out. Uh, I, I might buy here, like when like a lot of volume traded on the way up. Um, but over here, I'm kind of like, no, nah, not really, no. I just feel like they're kind of done with like screwing everyone. Uh, and they, they just want to sell everything they previously just bought. Um, yeah, so I'm kind of just sitting on hands. Um, this this level might be interesting though, uh, 41, but still it's kind of like high to me, <laughs> uh, if that makes sense. So yeah, usually when they they hit stops, it's just really like a like a, like a you got to be careful. Like yeah, at least I I I am. Um, let's see, uh, Maisie's asking here if um, uh, you could go over. Uh, let's see. People are getting a little lost with the with the the markers, um, but um, okay, uh, if if you could go over, just maybe walk through that scenario again of um, and, and may, maybe maybe um, uh, yeah, in, in well in in book map with with you know some of the liquidity uh, uh, as well. Maybe go full screen on that uh, if if you could. Uh, it might might yeah, it'll, it'll, cannot, it'll, no. Ah, you cannot. Okay. No, um, no. Okay. Uh, but uh, well, yeah. Wait, maybe I can zoom in. Hold on. Can I zoom in? No, I, no. Can you can no, you expand the window? Maybe. No. No. no okay. Hold on. Okay. Yeah. Maybe. Oh, hold on. Yeah, I can do that. Oh, no, I lost it. Um, okay. So to book map, you mean? Well, I, I know you're looking at your higher time frame first. Uh, that doesn't really work. But uh, maybe yeah. uh, maybe just go back in, in replay mode and just like uh, if you could kind of kind of recap the whole process here because this is a really a really nice example. Um, and, yeah. Uh, well. Okay. Yeah. Well, for, first of all, they they the, the market kind of just opened and they're just doing a really like a like a directional move, like a it's a big move. So even even for the for the boon, so um, and usually when, when they they do that, um, they're just out to get stops, and that's exactly what happened. Um, um, so they're just trying to bid it all up, uh, push everyone out. Um, but also, like the, the thing is, like uh, what are they drawing again? Yeah, so like. Here you can see like a 60 minute, 60 minute uh, chart. Um, they went down the whole week already, so the whole previous week. So it was bound for like a bounce, right? So yeah, <laughs> don't really look to sell. <laughs> uh, 
only when you get like a like a big extension like like um, yeah I guess that makes sense enough so yeah <clears throat> so they really need to like push it but in the best case you were long of course but yeah can't have it all yeah I think a, a little of the confusion is going on here um, uh, with, there's a delay here between the uh, video and audio. Um, you, you're marking oh, up the okay. chart afterwards, um, after after you're speaking. So uh, uh, anyway, like uh, yeah, so you're looking at your 60-minute chart there. Uh, you're you're gauging uh, what you're looking for. Uh, then you're looking at your um, your footprint chart there, uh, and your proprietary yeah. algos that you or you know. Uh, data or that you had uh, developed there, uh, and then yep. uh, and and then you're looking uh, for the the, the book uh, to confirm uh, and understanding right. where where the uh, where the uh, liquidity is is hiding or uh, how yeah exactly how, yeah um, yeah okay um, I boy I don't I don't know I mean if you could maybe um, uh, show that spoofing example. Um, since it's so so clear, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it was really, yeah, really a good one. Uh, yeah, I think it was right here. Yeah, yeah. Ah, no. Well, they started here already at that point forty. You see that? So already at point 40, you can see the delta, like 1,600 contracts they put on, and they just cancel like a second later, and then they. Yeah, I don't know if know. everyone can see that. I'm I'm seeing a delay here, but uh, look in the uh, order ah, book yeah. there, and and um, look on the you can see in the. Um, uh, yeah, I got it now. I got it now. Okay. So I'll highlight it. Um, so they moved it from. Oh, So you can see the delta here that goes minus 1600, and here it goes plus 1600. So they moved it up. Yeah? Can, can we see that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then a second, well, not even a second later, it's, it's gone. So, and it didn't trade. So you can see that in the numbers over here, it really didn't trade. So <laughs> that's like, like a perfect example of spoofing. So. Yeah, let me show you. Okay. Yep, and it's gone. <laughs> only, only, how much was it? Only 270 or something traded of all those 1700 in the book. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. <laughs> but uh, yeah. And and there was another example too, like a a a little bit forward, I think. Um, yeah, with the uh, yeah, that it went through it. Well, then it came back down, and they just piled here. in like several levels. Yeah. You mean here, right? Uh, this. Yes, right there. That that's just yeah. that's pretty. Uh, look at look at that. Wow. Uh, so, yeah. what what was the liquidity in some of those those areas there? If you could just um, you could use that that uh, rollover tool or the tool tip. Yeah, I can because I recorded it. <laughs> oh no, it'll it'll work. So, no, I mean I recorded the screen. Ah, not the, I see it's a video. You know, right, right. Because okay. I had to sync, I had to sync uh, the, the investor RT <laughs> with it. So, <laughs> nope. Yeah. Okay, I understand what. The, don't sound, don't sound like it. <laughs> uh, I understand the the complexity now. Okay, so that's why because yeah. Ah, uh, okay, I understand. Yeah, I couldn't like. Like uh, it wasn't possible to run it both, and then just like yeah, <laughs> it's really hard to like. I had to replay this and replay this, so I, I had to record it, so I, I cannot like show it. But um, but it's it's just really clear that they're just faking it and then bidding it back to to push the stops. Yeah, it's just can be more clear. <laughs> yeah, it, re it really can. I mean, like very very high liquidity and um, very yeah. short term. Yeah. Uh, and but those other orders had already been there for a while, 
um, and mm -hmm. they're 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 yep. first in line. You know, they're 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 already waiting. Um, and yep. Just a, and beautifully executed. I mean, uh, wow. Yeah. Uh, they, they got exactly what they wanted. <clears throat> oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is it's true to a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. And with, and with some high volume here, like like 4K at the highest, it's it's a lot. You know, like. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Um. Well, I think we're ready for the next one. How much time do I have left, by the way? Uh, I think it's going pretty fast. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you've already been going about 40 minutes. Um, so uh, oh, oh, well. let, let me um, let me get to some of the questions here, too. Uh, yeah, so yeah. There's, yeah, there's some, yeah. some questions you have about um, uh, are you, um, let's see, the same data feed uh, as Linsoft? No, you're using your Linsoft to drive something else, and then you're using your bookmap for, uh, you're using uh, S5. Yeah, I use uh, Stage 5 for all my feeds, yeah. Ah, uh, okay, okay, S5 for all, all your yeah. feeds there. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And let's see, some other questions here. Some questions about bookmap. Um. Yeah, it's just some 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 issues trying to see exactly what you're pointing at there, the delay here. Um, let's see, Bob, I can help you on your uh, settings for the ES, uh, and uh, yeah. So, how many how many trades um, do you take? Uh, per day? How many? Yeah, it depends on the day. It depends on volatility. Um, <clears throat> and really depends a lot on volatility. Right right now, like, I don't know, like five or five, five or ten, I guess, depends. It's, and and how, how long do you usually hold for? Ten minutes. <laughs> oh, wow. As, as little, as, as short as possible. <laughs> So, yeah, like, I think my my average is like like ten fifteen minutes. That's it. Yeah. Wow. Um, so, um, uh, Juice is um, asking, um, uh, what kind of trader would you call yourself? Market profile, uh, pullback trader, order flow trader. I think a nice combination of all of the above. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> And um, so, short term, at least short term. <laughs> <laughs> so, a question about like, uh, how long did it take you to uh, understand and learn uh, some of these things in in, in the order flow? Um, well, still learning, of course, but um, like, kind of, like, they mean like when I was like profitable in it, or like, I, I mean. Well, just being able to understand and recognize um, what you've been um, demonstrating and understanding where people are going to start buying, uh, looking for spoofing uh, into orders uh, up above. Right. Well, I think that, that went on pretty pretty fast um, when I started to look in the, like the footprint kind of thing. Um, that was way, way back. Um, and then um, it was like it doesn't exist anymore. It was with uh, IOAMT, like uh, Institute of Option Market Theory, something. Um, and that was kind of like a, like a trade room where I was in. And they only used that, so they didn't use like anything else. Like they, yeah, they used market profile and and only like the the footprint chart, and that's it. Um, and that really shows the concept of like who's the buyer, who's the seller, who's stuck. Um, yeah, it can't really more be more clear than than that. So uh, yeah, that that went on pretty pretty fast actually. Yeah. Huh. Huh. Okay. So, so yeah, education through footprint chart <clears throat> is what uh, uh, gained the understanding of uh, uh, some of these some of these uh, concepts here. <clears throat> yeah. For, for me, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, mm. but it's just like uh, like six years ago already. It's five, six, five, six years. Yeah. Mm. yeah. And then when you when you saw Bookmap, like, did that? Um, I mean, I can tell you how, how it worked for me. I mean, I, I was just amazed. Like, you know, now I can see because in, in the footprint chart you can see the traded volume, but you don't know yeah. you don't know what's going on outside of that. Right, right. No, it's it's really important to see it. Um, like, well, exactly like the examples, right? Um, it's just so so useful to see where where they wanna where like like they intend to buy, right? So you kind of wanna let let's say you wanna have like a ten. Uh, Take pullback, but they're bidding like nine ticks uh, at nine ticks, ticks before you. So, well, do you still want the ten ticks, or do you want to like be above the bid at eight ticks because you have more likely to get filled, right? So yeah, of course I'm gonna go to eight ticks because uh, you never know if they're gonna hit the bid or uh, let, let's say you're short. And um, so it's it's really important and it helped me a lot actually. So um, yeah. Hmm. So. For your your targets, you you will then look to the book to um, modify those and and edit them to um, more for a more high probability um, you know trade or or stay in to you know move your stop behind. Yeah, totally. Like like uh, like I said, I'm like a really short term trader, um, so I don't want to wait like 30 minutes to get filled. Um, they might fill it later, but. I just like to reduce risk and don't spend that much time in the market. Um, so yeah, I want I want to like exit as soon as possible. Yeah. Hmm. So how how do you how do you do that? Like how how are you able to um, identify uh, something that's going to work within the next ten or fifteen minutes? Okay. Well, I can show you and it's exactly on this example as well. So I said like I want a short here, right? Can can we see it? Yeah. Should update. No, so I, then I also said like, hey, they're putting in a bid at 47, right? Yep. So that's exactly what I mean. Like, so okay, so I want to put in a bid at 48. So then I get like a guaranteed fill if it goes like to that direction. So that that's exactly uh, the example I'm, I mean, yeah. So so as soon as you see that that bid come in, then mm -hmm. you're you're selling. No, no, no. I mean, if I if I'm, I'm already uh, short, uh, then I let's say I wanna wanna have like 45, but I see that bit coming in, and then I then I move my exit to 47 uh, for uh, 48 instead of 45. I see. Okay. Yeah. That, that's right. Yeah. You you absorb on the way up along with them. Yeah. Okay. And you're 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 entering with uh, limit orders. Yeah, I do. Yeah. yeah, always. Okay. Okay. Uh, a few more questions here. Uh, Marilyn is asking: uh, Is the Bund your favorite market, or do you have uh, other markets that work well with your AMS and Bookmap tools? Uh, I mainly trade yes, actually. Um, I just I just wanted to do something else now. <laughs> ah, okay. So, yeah, M mainly yes. Yeah. And and Euro stocks, I think too, right? Not that much anymore. Yeah, ah, no. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Um, Yus is asking about uh, distinguishing. Uh, how do you distinguish um, a fake resting orders from real ones? Uh, he just observes price action when it gets there, or you just observe price action when it gets there. Um. Well, I mainly look at like re reference points in my in my uh, delta print chart. So I, I I tend to look at trader volume and then uh, see how it reacts there. Um, and if there's a bit somewhere around here, I kind of like like make up my mind like where it is. But it's mainly on like based on the trader volume, you know. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. And then, and then you'll, I mean, that, that will confirm it for you in, in Bookmap would be the trader volume. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Okay. Uh, Elaine is asking about, could you show or talk about how you're using algos, your algos in Bookmap? Um, well, my, my, I don't have algos in Bookmap. What, what does he mean exactly? Yeah. Um, I guess... Uh, 
uh, I mean, you're you're entering manually, or you're you're placing your orders manually, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that that's what the question is. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, and Raymond is asking, would this work on thinner instruments? And uh, Raymond, uh, for Bookmap, yeah, ab absolutely it will. And uh, uh, for um, well, uh, let Niels. I mean, uh, how, how do you trade thinner markets? Uh, we using. Uh, I, I don't. This? You don't. Okay, there you go. <laughs> no, I don't. No. Okay. <laughs> the the was he like maybe uh, uh, like we go. Um, Talking about the DAX? Uh, wow, yeah, I mean, the DAX is insane, but... Um, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know. I, I would imagine maybe oil or gold or, or something like that. Well, no, those are pretty good. Even Like, those are good in bookmap and, and the delta print. And, and, and uh, also, my algorithm is, is, uh, is, is, on, uh, is on oil. It works on oil, euro stocks. Uh, Boone and S and P. So yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, well, the next question leads nicely into um, since uh, we can get into maybe a little bit about you can discuss um, some of uh, your uh, proprietary software uh, and tell us about uh, the algos in RT uh, and the logic for red dots is a question from Pablo. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, well, it, it's it's an algorithm that I've been working on for like over a year, um, and uh, finally it's being uh, it's been released uh, a month ago. And um, well, it, it's based on order flow, um, momentum, um, yeah, all, all kinds of things actually. Uh, just things that I've been watching myself. And sometimes I'm just being too slow, so I automated it in an algorithm. Um, yeah, and they've just been working really nicely, actually. So, um, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's see. Any other questions? I think we've got most of them here. I can tell some more about the Delta print if you want, by the way. Yeah, um, yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. So <clears throat> right here, like there, there's these are all the settings. Um, does the screen update or? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. <clears throat> so, so I look at traded volume uh, a lot. Um, so I want to see kind of like uh, let me put on the drawing. If that's working. No. This. Okay, so I want to see significant volume. So if it's not if it's low volume, I don't want to see it. Um, at least I don't want to see a profile in it. To be more clear, I want to see the numbers, but I, I don't want to see a profile because it's not important to me. So for me, it's like the profiles in, in the uh, is it highlighted now? I guess you can see it now. Yes. Yeah. So. It has a pullback and then it pulls back, but it pulls back right to the, the highest volume of the sellers. So for me, that's an entry to go to go long because it it's not uh, like a significant pullback with volume. Because if a pullback is with low volume, it, it it doesn't have a lot of meaning. It's just like maybe market maker action or like I don't know some like a kind of stop run or kind of I don't know. It's just not important for me. So if they like. Uh, hit it with like uh, 2k, 3k, 4k. Yeah, then I wouldn't be interested. But since they do it with low volume, like, hmm, okay, that's what's going on. So they just kind of want to move it around, do some market make it action, and, and then just just move it up. Um, so for me, it's really important to see that. You know, it, it's what I use a lot. Um, but you can you can turn it off. I mean, <clears throat> normally they uh, they're all relative. And as you can see, it, it doesn't doesn't show that good now, because um, the numbers are way lower on on the on the two bars over here. You, you cannot see it because they're they're relative to each other in the bar. And now you can see them like 
relative to a number that, that you set yourself. And I, I have also used I also use it in the ES. I can show that. That looks like a pretty pretty nice you know exhaustion kind of pullback into uh, you know that uh, that low there uh, in that example. Oh yeah, yeah yeah totally. And same goes for the ES. Um, it's it just it's just. For me, it's just more clear filtering it because, you, like here with the, the sideways action, if you filter it, you can see it's, it's just like n not important volume. But the, vo more, the important volume, you can see the profiles on, and the rest is just just kind of I don't know. They're just screwing around and trying to move it, but it's not working. And then <clears throat> so. And then they put volume in at the high, and then then things are kind of moving. So, yeah, I mean it's really a yeah a nice feature. So yeah. <clears throat> okay, let's see a few more questions, and then uh, and then we'll, we'll wrap it up here. Uh, right. Let's see. So the AMS uh, algos uh, are are with IRT only. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and let's see, when you enter a trade, uh, you're always leaning on bookmap high volume level, or, or I don't know if you see, you mean um, uh, high uh, liquidity level. It helps, it's it not per se. Uh, it helps if it's there, um, but it's, it's not like uh, per se necessary, no. Right, because be you, nice, you because you you might you might get that exhaustion instead is what yeah you're, yeah 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 exactly yeah okay yeah uh, and I and I, pro, and I programmed uh, yeah it's not released yet but it, it's kind of working nicely now uh, like the the zones like here the the blue zones in this chart it's like uh, uh, they are. Uh, support resistance level that I programmed as well. <clears throat> ah, okay. They, uh, yeah, like you, you can see that it's holding the low. Yeah, it's, it's working pretty well. <laughs> so um, I use those as well. Yeah. Okay, great. Um, yeah. Okay, so and people can find all of this stuff on your uh, on your website, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. Raymond has a few more questions here. Um, uh, do you trade uh, ranges uh, and sideways activity, uh, or are you looking for a more trending environment? Um, uh, I don't trade like small ranges. I, I'm looking for like breakouts and then retest and or pullbacks and then. <clears throat> I, I don't like small ranges. No. Okay. It's it's just not not saying much. It's it's more more. Uh, I mean, it's always fifty fifty. But trading a small range is for me is like really really fifty fifty. Yeah, it's, it's no edge for me. Yeah. Right. Like here. Right. Understood. Okay. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Yeah, Maisie, he, he had gone over his um, his targets. Uh, uh, you know, looking looking for where they're where they're going to cover, uh, and uh, uh, and then looking at uh, at book map for where that liquidity is, and then front running it a bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. I think uh, I think we've gotten through all of the questions here, uh, and. Um, uh, let me uh, let's see. Anything else that you want to show? Else, uh, I'll, I'll show uh, your website uh, and uh, uh, Twitter account there. Uh, if you want to, if you guys want to follow uh, Niels, and um, uh, there's going to be a special as well for for Bookmap. Uh, it's not up on the website at the moment, but uh, uh, for those of you who are new to Bookmap, we are uh, offering a special. All right, so uh, uh, you know that's coming out uh, all, all week here. So. Um, anything else, Niels? You want to you want to cover? 
Well, I can throw in a special. <laughs> I can uh, I, I can help you guys set 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 a book map for you, like with the, how I have it or something. I, I don't I I wouldn't mind doing that. Okay. All right. Well, then how how can they get a hold of you? It, would it be just through your? Oh, just email me or just through my website or. Okay. So so or Twitter, or Twitter or whatever okay. works. Okay, and your your um, your email is Niels at AMS. Uh, dot com. Yeah. Dot com. Okay. All right, I'll just put that in the chat here. Okay, so you guys have that. Uh, and um, oh, it's uh, AMS Trading Group Ah, uh, okay, okay. Sorry, let's strike that. <laughs> Neil's at AMS. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, or just send a message message on the on the website. That's that's all right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Sounds good. Well. Well. Uh, yeah. Thank you very much, Niels. Um, let me uh, let me grab the screen for for just a second here. All right. Oh, it's already midnight here. <laughs> oh wow, uh, we're exactly uh, right now uh, uh, twelve hours apart. Noon, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah Niels is uh, is in uh, Bali right now. I guess that that might be a reason for some of the uh, delays we might be seeing uh, during the. Uh, he he's based in Amsterdam, but during the winter time he likes to uh, 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 surf and uh, and and kiteboard, as you can see here with the with the photo. Um, so. Uh, uh, let's get to the uh, website. Okay, so here's this, the Twitter account. Uh, I'll put it in again here into the uh, uh, the chat for you guys. Uh, you have his email right there, uh, and then uh, website is right here. And let me put this into the chat as well. You've got that. And uh, in terms of the bookmap uh, special, uh, you know, look look for it soon under the pricing tab here. Uh, and, and it'll it'll be up uh, uh, later this afternoon, uh, Eastern time. Okay. So uh, yeah. Other than that, uh, yeah. Thank you very much, Niels. That was uh, just um, excellent e examples uh, there, and uh, uh, really great You're to welcome. see. Yeah. Very very clear. Uh, and um, uh, I mean, I'm I'm better at numbers than at presenting, but I'll, I'll do my best. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, this is recorded, everybody. Uh, it'll be up on uh, YouTube um, uh, later this afternoon, uh, and um, uh, then uh, uh, yeah, you can you can watch it there. And uh, we'll continue on for the rest of the week with our, uh, our Pro Trader uh, webinar series. So uh, yeah, thanks for coming, and uh, yeah, thanks again, Niels. Great, great stuff. Yeah, you too. Thanks. Okay. Bye bye. See you.